So I discovered something today. I wanted to make a video about it. It won't be a very long video, but uh, it might raise some discussion. <laughs> so um, I showed this before. I used a um, an LED as a photodiode, and I measured the current with a uh, electrometer. So this is a Keithley 619, and I have a test fixture here so I can uh, Faraday shield things. Right now we're measuring current, for, we're measuring uh, nano amps, and so there's a little bit of noise, um, but it's a uh, pretty low noise. So just to just to start up the video, let's let's go ahead and try something super easy. This is a uh, an actual photodiode. Okay, this is a, a large large area photodiode, and I'm going to put, and I'll put this on auto. So we're measuring 0.9 microamps. Okay, and it's fairly dark in the uh, in the room right now. Um, so let's see if we can find a flashlight. So I have a flashlight here, and let's uh, shine it on the photodiode. You can see we're going. Uh, uh, there's more 150 microamps, and if I get it really, really close, lay on the way of the camera. How do I get in the way of the camera? We get it really, really close. Now we're what is what, almost almost a milliamp. Uh, so you know it's kind of how solar cells work, right? Uh, the light falls on the silicon and it creates uh, it creates uh, creates charge and stuff. So yeah, we have about a microamp. About one microamp in the, in the regular room light. Okay, so so that's the that's the test setup. We're going to measure we're going to measure photo current. All right. Now, uh, like I said, I showed you why. Uh, I'll, I'll put a link. Uh, I'll put a link up here uh, for the old video. I showed you photo current out of an LED. I showed you photo current out of the silicon transistor. Um, and of course, because I have this thing, I've been trying out other things. So let me try one of the things that. I uh, I don't know exactly what's going on. I have a hint, and I think I understand some of the physics, but I think there's probably some hidden physics that I don't that I don't understand. So there we go. So let me ah uh, let me get in the way of the camera here so I can put it on. Okay, there we go. I'm sorry about getting in the way of the camera. All right, so I've put an object in there, and I'm going to uh, I'm going to down. So I'm going to take it out of auto, and I'm going to uh, put it into uh, negative nine. So those are nano amps, and I'm going to shine some light on it. And we're getting a little bit, so it's not very photosensitive. So point, point oh two nanoamps. Let me get the uh, flashlight close. So one point one point one nanoamps. So that's not a lot. So what is this magic device? It's a neon light bulb. <laughs> now. Don't ask me why I thought I should stick that in there, but I did. So a neon light bulb. So. Uh, I will put up here, I will put a link to a, a video series that I did once on how neon has a photoelectric effect and that you can cure flickering neons by shining light on them. And I didn't quite understand at the time, but I think this is a better clue that we can generate a current by shining a light on it. Now, why is it doing that? Well, I think partially it's due to the photoelectric effect that when you shine light on a metal, it kicks electrons loose and those electrons go out and there's a gas in there and that gas, I don't know. <laughs> so that's about as far as I go. Um, now, uh, so if you think that isn't, that isn't odd enough. All right, let me see if I can reproduce this because I, I did this, I did this this afternoon and it was very strange. So there are two electrodes in a, um, uh, a neon light bulb. And if I shine it this direction, I'm kind of shining it onto both of them equally. But if I, if I shine it from this direction, I'm kind of putting more light on the right hand one. And if I shine it from this direction, I'm kind of putting more light on the left hand one. And we get negative current. <laughs> so yeah, so it's directional. If I go this direction, it's positive, and I go this direction, it's negative current. Negative current, positive current. 
Negative current, <laughs> positive current. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I would love to know the actual physics of what's going on here. Um, is it just simple photoelectric effect? Does it have something to do with the gas inside? Um, the gas may be radioactive inside. Maybe that does something. Um, yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's very interesting. <laughs> it is very, very interesting. So, uh, neon light bulb, photosensitive. And uh, my friend said, hey, you've just invented a quadrature detector with only two pins. So it kind of t you can kind of tell where the, where the light is, what direction the light's traveling. So if, if it's equal, if it's going from positive to negative or negative to positive, it, it's kind of a quadrature detector with only two wires. So it is a weird thing. Uh, yeah, it is a very weird, it is a very weird thing. So um, I'm going to have to try out other things that have vacuum in them. Now, um, I believe that vacuum tubes do this as well. I believe that some vacuum tubes need to be in the dark. Uh, I think I've heard that before from several people, including like Mr. Carlson and stuff, that there is some type of photo, photo current set up in uh, triodes and other vacuum tube circuits that can affect things and sometimes they need to be in the dark or sometimes they actually need to be in the light and so they actually put a light bulb inside of the instrument to shine light on the vacuum tube so it works correctly <laughs> um, I don't know if that's to get it going or to bias it or so, I don't know I don't know enough about these things I just know that this is super cool uh, I was totally freaked out when it was plus and minus so Pretty weird. <laughs>